Ugh, I may have missed a little bit in there, but hopefully we got two separate videos out of that. Oh boy. Alright. Yep, alright. So apparently the machines that the Dunbat was alive. Now it's all dead. I hate this. I'm just gonna go to the exit. I'm not sticking around. There's nothing to do here. It's all Catherine's fault, huh? I wonder what is. Alright. Now that I know that's open, let's go explore. Warning, watch out for moving doors. Not like anything, I'm to go, no. It's inevitably how any chase sequence in here would have worked out. Just the failure. like this. I don't like this at all. I hear things. Oh boy. <laughs> Plan B it is. I bet it can crawl faster than I can, whatever that thing is. There's nothing I can do but keep walking. Did we make the wrong choice? Fan. I don't like any of this. Oh boy. It's the button. Well, at least I'm up here, for now. I feel like I can be safe in that way. I wonder if these things heal me. Is that the exchange that I can heal, but I, like, deprive some region of power that I might want? Yep, that's what that is. I have now healed. Oh man, that's weird. Well, I'm not gonna be using those if I don't have to. Oop. Oh, the Ark! It was here, I guess, that they did crap to it. What's this? Multi-purpose volume NMRI. Okay, keyboard embedded into the surface. Oh, finally, get to have a friend again. That's huh? good. Wait, this isn't... Oh, 
no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Maybe? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Mm. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Does that apply to us? Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Question. Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Oh boy. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. Oh boy. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Yeah, your character flaws are starting to show, lady. Numbers. I'm sure these will be useful. Prep arc with signal transmitter, power packs, extra oxygen, P11 permission. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Shuttle to Omicron, change to HPS, ride the climber into the abyss, check on Tau, anyone alive to do, and then access tunnel to Phi, launch arc. Delta, Lambda, okay. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. People were Thanks, little. Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. Haimatsu power suit. Proper usage for the safety of you and your colleagues. For the safety of you, I, I would have liked it that was all it said. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness, check the APS for any visual damages. Starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go, let a partner help you with the back piece and torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece, you should hear the suit seal itself. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still doesn't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. Note, the HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. High pressure diving suits need to undergo a mandatory maintenance checkup before suiting up. Not doing suit puts you at risk of oxygen poisoning, pulmonary edema, and death. That is very orange. Alright, hopefully we'll remember that. Yeah. It'll be okay. The screen tearing is not so distracting in games like this because there's a lot of noise already in the scenes. So while I do see it, I hope it doesn't bother you. What's this thing? Good question. That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the arc. What could go wrong? It's just an MRI. We're made of metal. It's a suicide booth. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Let's find out what we're made of. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Oh. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Hmm. Anyway, 
The Cortex chip is good news. Yeah. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. <laughs> All those simplistic lines we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sorry, I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. Yeah, I do. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Yeah, I built me. Took the dead body of one of the colleagues. That's why nothing can die, because it like repurposes it. It must be why this heals me too, because it's like structure gel. It's basically like if you could just have flesh on demand to heal yourself with. Let's go check out the computer. I have my decision, Dr. Catherine Chun. I have find, decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how it will ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. What's left? Apply interface module, seal arc capsule, ask permission from 4Q, brief, Ivashkin, Lindwald, Peterson, and Hill, the team. Take shuttle to Omicron, pick up power suits, ride the climber to the abyss, regroup at Tau, head to launch site, load the bullet, launch arc. Alright. Arc locator. We're close. Kinda. So I have to go through Omicron and then Tau, and I'm, I have a strong feeling we're going to be visiting Omega. Arc attitude survey. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out this short survey. Recently it was decided that the ARC project would become Pehos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Um? I mean, there's not a whole lot else to do. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, and sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to pay for saves mankind. In principle, I guess, but... The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark VII probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave the Earth behind and be launched into space. Um? Yeah, I don't... I kind of disagree, because, you know, the Earth... Is, I like the Earth, but there's not really... I, I don't know. It's risky, I guess. What happens when it just falls into the orbit of a black hole or a sun or a planet or something? The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark would auto necessary be generated from the existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, or even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Um. I don't know. Probably. I don't feel that strongly, though. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligence that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Sure. That's a weird way to place it. Thank you for participating. This is how our colleagues voted. ARC approval. Strongly agree. Very little disagree. Mostly agree. Oh, I guess the red one's mine. Eternity among the stars. Most people wanted to just... Oh. Oh. Oh, so I misread that one. They were just talking about sending it to space to orbit the Earth. I misread that as... Do you see a difference between sending it off completely into space versus... Uh, versus just the Earth? But I guess this, that was really, do you want to turn it into space or just on the planet? So that was a mistake. That was definitely under the agree or strongly agree. Inferior companions. I don't know. I mean, 
that sounds like would you like pets i don't know if that's quite what that question asked but okay pain for gain strongly agree agree yeah nobody strongly disagreed with that one artificial evolution seems a little bit more divisive um this is a way to make us all better we're, we're losing our humanity it's like yeah anyway i guess that's it for you all right what's going on here it seems like we've uh left behind our whatever the thing is that's chasing us for now lots of technology wonder what it all does I wonder if we'll be going over there anytime soon. Oh, this is done. Wow, I can't do that again. Huh. Um. You open the door. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. How do I do that? I'm guessing that's over here. Not over here. Is that on the computer? No, I'm guess I'm guessing this is related. Let's do that. Oh, this is this is some widescreen monitor. Oh, runs Unix. Oh. One thousand terabytes. Please reduce memory footprint. What do you kill? Can't delete the forest, apparently. Package Soma Human. <laughs> uh, entity package boats, rivers, chairs. Foliage simulation. Sun. What? What does any of these mean? Does Catherine know? Get an arc simulation going. Ah, useless. I don't know. What should I delete? Dynamic clowns. This all sounds like useful stuff. Probably need all of these. Well. Yeah. So I need to get rid of 800 terabytes? Ah, <sighs> no fluid physics. <laughs> well, if we get rid of all the fluids. Seems like we could get pretty close. I don't know what this is. It has the title of the game in it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Uh, and I like light, heat, perfect scan. Um, I don't know. So looking over this, what's the least useful? Chairs are useless, but they're also not very big. I think we want physics. Probably good idea. Buoyancy less important. Uh, let's see. You know, fine. No rivers. Oh, wait, but I can also put the park bench package uh, what? oh I see so if I want this one they have dependencies that one alright so I have to keep this one which means I have to keep some kind of water okay so it's good of rivers I guess only lakes nobody needs chairs this. There needs to be some kind of light source. It's not like they're always uh, got trade offs. Uh, 
underneath the clouds. Or the boat. Or the roads. Require for forest we need advanced vegetation. And for foliage simulation we need some kind of vegetation. Actually, let's try this. Let's try building it up instead. Alright. We need this, or... Right. Because we have the forest, we need this. Cool. And then... We need some Soma. Alright. This needs some kind of atmosphere. The, uh, scans, I guess kind of light source. This would be the cheapest one. Right. And then we need some kind of water. Kind of enough. But rivers. Okay. And that, if we want rivers, what if we want lakes? Is there any other kind of water? No. Uh, we need a light source, we need some kind of water lake. So rigid body physics, soft body physics, fluid physics, buoyancy. Two terabytes too big. Say no to fluid physics. Oh, we don't need fluid physics. I see. Um, and we can't go with the different scene. Why not? Is that what we gotta do? Is there anything else for us to do? Apparently alive, kind of, right? It's got power flowing through it. I have a feeling that we won't be so happy about that window at some point. No, alright. No, it's this. No. Alright. Ooh, can I push that? Is that a thing? No, just do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna have the advanced vegetation. We're getting close. River needs fluids. Look, we're a hundred away at that. We need that. We need that. Sun needs. Heat. Fine. Moon. Don't even need heat. Do need heat. Okay. Too much. Well. Oh no. Some kind of light source. Fluid. Full moon it is. Road. Uh. Yeah, we are in the forest. Might as well throw in the foliage simulation. Soft body physics. Oh. The lake requires the soft body physics, but not the fluid. 
Yeah. I think that's better. Oh no, it still requires fluid. Okay. So you can have either the lake. So let's see. I think we can't have the lake because we need too many things. Like we need the rigid bodies. We need the soft bodies. We need fluid physics. We need points. that one. But we need this anyway. Okay. We need the scans. And we need this if we're gonna have any light source, right? And then we need this if we're gonna have the forest, which we're required to have. We need this to do anything. So basically the lake is too expensive. It's got to be rivers, because we don't need soft body physics then either. Why do we need soft bodies for lakes but not rivers? That's weird. We can, can't toss in boats for the rivers. It's a shame. Um, can't toss in this weird cabin thing. Dynamic clouds requires heat, which puts us over the edge. No dynamic clouds. Foliage. Sure. You can also toss in basic vegetation. Can't do the lake. Can't do that. You could do chairs. Can't do boats. You could do park bench. You could do that, but barely. So, I don't know. In my opinion, a little bit more foliage. Things to sit on kind of priority. We've got to sit somewhere. And then, like, I want to do that, but then I have to give up what the uh, basic vegetation's not enough? Barely. Yeah, it's big. You have to give up all the park benches. I don't know. I don't know how to maximize this for reals. Uh... But I think that might be the maximum we can take. Let's do that. Compiling. That's fast. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Okay. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. Hmm. Okay. You need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Ah. You need to catch it while it's being loaded. Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. I know. It's not very good at this. There we go. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. <laughs> uh. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I'm just going to leave that running. Light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Oh, okay. So that's how I get to open the door, finally. I can only say that I hope this is less stressful. I think it will be. I guess we're heading to Omicron now. It still works. It's exciting. I don't like that. Don't like it at all. Oh boy. Ah, all right. I'm 
Where was it? Where was it? Stromer! Brand, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. You tell Alice I love her. So Juan locked himself in here with that thing. Well, if this means that thing was here, then. Looks like a part is missing. sure the art makes it. Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers look better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. Mm. Oh, I hear you. Survival of the fittest. F equals MV, blah blah. It just deposit itself outside. Oh boy, that ends up as a dead end. Casing, Jay Davis. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. This is getting really tense, and it's pretty late. I'm pretty sure we've got at least another 30 minutes on the clock, so I am going to actually stop right here for now. We'll pick it up later. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy these videos, and I will catch you next time.